Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a range of things, including the Flash and Arrow and Crisis. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this is sort of like a catch-up video. The news sort of came out in the past week or so, and I'm just combining it into one video. So I'm going to be talking about Arrow mainly in this video, linking towards Crisis. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So what we're going to talk about is Oliver and what Stephen Amell has teased recently at the TCAs and also, you know, further back at Comic-Con. So I've got a range of quotes and a range of things that we need to talk about. So... I'm going to be presenting the idea of Oliver isn't going to die in Crisis, and for a while, since they revealed that end scene at the end of Arrow last season with the 2009 gravestone, obviously that future is not set and that future could, you know, not happen. But also since, you know, he made that deal with the Monitor, I've had this feeling in the back of me that they are not going to do it because, you know, it's the final season of Arrow, and I think there is obviously a high possibility that Oliver may die. But I feel like they're not going to do that, and I'll explain some of the ideas in this video. So, here is some evidence. So, Crisis will be episode 8 of season 8 for Arrow, so that means there will be two episodes left. More likely than not, they're not going to kill him in episode 8, and then have episode 9 and 10 just be the other characters, and not be with Stephen and Mel, because, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense unless they want to do a future version of Arrow, like, in the future and we see a different version of Oliver in 2040, say, and, you know, somehow he's there, you know, however the Monitor has got, you know, Felicity, wherever Felicity went at the end of last season, maybe that's the way that Oliver gets away and Oliver doesn't in fact die, but people think he's dead because he's disappeared, sort of like how the Flash vanishes in Crisis, maybe the newspaper article turns into Arrow or Green Arrow, vanishes in crisis i think that's a good idea because it will be episode eight and that sort of links to where felicity is and maybe we get the reappearance of felicity for one episode the final episode so i think there is a way that he disappears rather than dies but also there's a possibility with it being episode eight of season eight and there'll be two more episodes left that oliver won't die at all and he'll be fine and it's sort of just you know a hoax for now for what we are thinking about and so every episode will be leading up to Crisis. We've been told this many times. They reinforce this at Comic-Con, at the TCAs recently. But mainly, they're going to be finishing up each part of the story Stephen Amell teased recently at the TCAs. So they're going to include all of the characters and sort of find a way to nicely wrap up what was done before. And so apparently it seems massive episode to episode where they are building to crisis, building towards the end of the season. And as seen in the trailer, many faces are going to return. Familiar faces like Adrian Chase, Tommy Merlin, and we know Moira is going to be returning for a brief appearance. So there's going to be many guest stars from the past sort of coming back and wrapping up, you know, Arrow as a whole, as a whole show. And so Oliver is supposed to die in Crisis. We know this from the season finale of season 7, where we saw the 2019 gravestone that he had. And so, as teased by the finale and the gravestone, he is supposed to die, and he is destined to die in this one version of the future. But remember, timelines can easily be changed. And so, Stephen also teased a happy ending, but he didn't say it in the sort of stereotypical terms that, you know, they're going to go off into the sunset like, you know, how they did at the end of Season 3 leading into Season 4. Felicity and Oliver went into the sunset. Kind of a stereotypical ending, but that's not what he's teasing, but he teases it's going to be a happy ending for fans. It's a happy ending in terms of what he wants to see. So he says it's because there is a resolution, and that is why he sees it as a happy ending. So he also teased it could be a sad ending, or it could be a happy ending, it could be anything, but in terms of, you know, the storylines and everything, it's a nice wrap-up because there is a resolution, as he recently said at the TCAs. And so the final quote I want to go over is, there are no rules, and he's talking about in terms of crisis. And so with the fact that he teases there is no rules as to what's going to be happening, rules are made to be broken. And therefore, the rule of what the Monitor has destined Oliver to, you know, go down and become isn't set. That could be completely changed. We don't actually know 
if that was the monitor's deal, you must die instead of this. But there was some sort of deal, and I think that deal can be broken, as he says, there is no rule. So, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think there is a high possibility that he survives, that maybe he just disappears, he goes to, say, 2040, wherever Felicity is? Or do you think he's actually going to die? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the second part of the video. We're going to be talking about the flash right here. We've got some new behind the scenes looks that have been leaked by Canada Graphs. So go check out Canada Graphs. Check out their blog post because there is a lot more photos on there. There is literally like 30 to 40 photos I reckon. And it sort of showcases a lot more from what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Also check out their Twitter, at Canada Graphs. All the links will be in the description below so you can check them out. So the other day, The Flash was filming for episode 3 of the new season, so season 6. And we got some scenes that were shot outside and we have our first official look at the new Harrison Wells, this new character that Tom Kavanagh has been teasing recently. And so at Comic Con he explained him and sort of teased him to be a swashbuckling Wells, a sensual person. That's what he literally said. I don't know what that means but you can get the gist of swashbuckling. So he's adventurous and his new look that you can see on the screen right here is very adventurous. It's very Indiana Jones like and you know I think all of us can make that comparison because he does look like he is some sort of adventurer and so with what he teased that makes a lot of sense he's like a different version from another earth and he sort of looks like you know that Indiana Jones sort of look because he's got the coat he's got the khaki trousers and furthermore he has that belt across him like some sort of sachet and yeah, so very much so like an Indiana Jones type character. So he also, if you look very carefully, he has this gauntlet on his arm. I'm not sure what it's for, but that's of great interest because it's some sort of mechanical device. So that may hint he's from the future or something like that from another Earth and he comes back. Or it could just be a future version of one of our Harrison Worlds. That's an interesting theory. But he's been on many adventures and yeah, so that's our first look at him. He was actually shooting a scene with Cisco and also Iris, so Carlos, Candace, and obviously Tom as the new Harrison Wells. And so at one point, you can see on the screen right here, he throws Cisco to the wall and holds up this ruby in front of his face. And then he proceeds to actually let him down. So, you know, I feel like this is one of the early confrontations, like the first look at this new Harrison Wells. And I think it's going to be Iris and Cisco maybe strolling and then you have boom the introduction of the new Harrison Wells so now moving on to the next photo so you can see Cisco he's right here so Carlos this is a behind the scenes photo because he's on his phone but anyway so there is a bunch more photos like this on Canada Grass's blog so go check it out we're gonna go over some of the descriptions that he was able to sort of get out of this and so this is the first bit so the crew and cast were shooting scenes for the third episode of the season with three cast members Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon, Candace Patton as Iris West were doing scenes where they were walking together looking at a contraption that screams Cisco made. Are they out searching for a meta or is Cisco helping Iris with her investigating? They eventually look up at something above them. And so just talking about this paragraph, basically the idea is something comes from above. I think they are, you know, searching for a new metahuman or a new sighting. They've got some sort of alert and that is when they meet the new Harrison Wells. So let's continue on from here. A bit later, a scene was done that had Tom Cavanaugh on set, dressed in new duds. His attire is very Indiana Jones-esque, as we said, right down to swinging in off a rope. So that's very interesting that he's swinging off a rope. I think that is what they are looking up, obviously, at the sky. Cisco seems to say something to him that seemed like he was happy to see him before new Wells grabs him and shoves him up against the wall with a robotic looking arm and talks to him while showing him a large ruby. I guess Cisco should just be lucky this version of Wells can't vibrate through his chest, which is obviously very true. But what this sort of teases is this new Harrison Wells, you know, at first Cisco's like, oh shit, Harrison Wells, he's back, Harry's back, or whoever, whichever version it is. But obviously he gets the revelation, yeah, this is not our normal Harrison Wells, it's someone else. So it seems like a confrontation will be of this scene. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world to me. 
that you watch these videos so please be sure to leave a like comment subscribe we're only 2,000 subscribers away from 100,000 I can't wait and I can't thank you guys enough for the support recently so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys later goodbye I see red.